It's the phrase that defined 2019. You couldn't escape it if you tried. Instagram captions, the radio, Hillary Clinton's Twitter. But as it turns out, being 100% that B doesn't come without some consequences. What's up, y'all? It's Emil and it's Junior here with Clever News, and Lizzo is fighting back against two men who are claiming that her iconic line was actually something that they wrote. So songwriter Justin Raisin posted on his Instagram account a short demo clip of the song Healthy that he apparently worked on with Lizzo back in 2017. His caption reads, on April 11, 2017, we wrote a song called Healthy with Lizzo, Jesse St. John and Ease Rothman at our studio. I just took a DNA test, turns out that I'm 100% that was taken from Healthy and used in Truth Hurts. We were never contacted about being credited for the use of the parts of Healthy that appear in Truth Hurts. He continues the caption by saying that he and his team have been trying to work quietly behind the scenes with Lizzo to get a fraction of the proceeds that they think they've earned. They said that the song Healthy never came to be and instead they saw Truth Hurts shoot to number one earlier this year. Well, Justin and Jeremiah Raisin are causing a stir all over the internet, but the other two co-writers, Jesse St. John and Eve Rothman are staying silent. Eve hasn't mentioned anything on his social and Jesse St. John has since gone on private on his, but Jesse actually is credited as a writer on Truth Hurts. Justin's comment continues on to say, the last thing we want to do is throw any negativity towards Lizzo's momentum and movement as a cultural figure. If we believe in what she's preaching, believing in ourselves and our own voices is something we thought she'd understand. This all started when Lizzo tried to trademark the line in June. At that time, people on the internet came for her for supposedly stealing something without crediting the original artist. As they usually do, an old tweet surfaced from British singer named Mina Lioness. The tweet, which was written in February of 2017 says, I did a DNA test and found out that I'm 100% that The tweet was a joke in reference to Demi Lovato tweeting earlier that day about a DNA test that she took. She said, I did a DNA test and found out I'm 1% African. Mina actually reached out to Lizzo herself last year in 2018 regarding the rights to her tweet. She said, we didn't have the same idea. It was my tweet that was taken from Twitter and put into a song. Now everyone believes those were your words when in fact they were mine. My creativity, my wit, and my comedy. Lizzo responded saying, Truth Hurts was written in June, FYI. Someone made a meme on Instagram that said, I'm 100% that and we were inspired. I give that meme credit when I talk about making the song. I've never seen your viral tweet, but I'm glad it exists. I mean, it's definitely possible that Lizzo just never saw the tweet. The internet is a huge place. But Mina continued to tweet about Lizzo's use of her tweet, essentially saying that she was too broke to take on Lizzo legally and that she knew nothing would come of it. Well, after Justin posted his long Instagram caption, Lizzo posted some stories of her own. They read, hey y'all, as I shared before in 2017 while working on a demo, I saw a meme that resonated with me. A meme that made me feel like 100% that I sang that line in the demo and I later used the line in Truth Hurts. The men who now claim a piece of Truth Hurts did not help me write any part of the song. They had nothing to do with the line or how I chose to sing it. There was no one in the room when I wrote Truth Hurts except me, Ricky Reed, and my tears. That song is my life and its words are my truth. I later learned that a tweet inspired the meme. The creator of the tweet is the person I'm sharing my success with, not these men, period. Thank you to everyone who supported me and my son. And since then, Mina has come back to Twitter to say, I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm a credited writer for the number one song on Billboard. So it looks like Lizzo gave her the credit after all. She continued, I want to publicly thank Lizzo and her entire management team for embracing me and reaching out. But on the other side, Lizzo is simultaneously filing documents to get a legally backing judge to say that the men accusing her have no grounds to claim any rights to her song. She claimed that the Raisin Brothers are trying to set up an opportunistic lawsuit as an easy way to cash in. Lizzo isn't suing anybody. She simply just wants a legal document that would bar the brothers from suing her or claiming that they wrote the song. Which according to Lizzo, the brothers and their reps have acknowledged in writing multiple times that they have no claim to truth hurts. So we'll certainly be hearing more of this story, but I want to hear what you guys think. Do you think that the brothers actually have a case or do you think they should just let it go? Let us know in the comment section below and then make sure you subscribe to Clever News and click that bell because you never want to miss a single thing and then click right over here to check out another brand new story. Thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. here on Clever News and I'll see you soon.